Yeah, but Unholy Catacombs is up next. And then we'll have one more time, one more run after that, and Stavion's going to do a Forest Poachers. Oh, Ponderous wanted to do it. Sweet, and he's already in the group, so that makes that easy. So, let's get on over to Unholy Catacombs. Get us uh, some super hot chess pieces. They definitely, also in my opinion, they really need to change the drop rate on those 750 armor pieces. God, they're so elusive. I actually think I get more medallions off of Demon's Lair than anything else. But, also remember, you can do that map in about three minutes. So, <laughs> I've done that map a lot. Lots and lots of times. Here's Yuri. There you go. Oh, there's some cool looking skins for sure. That Dark Arts, Arts Apprentice is a good one. I really like that classic galactic skin. That's what I use on my... What do I got on this? Or this is the Carnival skin. That one's kind of cool looking. I like that one too, the little bounty hunter skin. And what do I use on this other guy? Oh, there's the skelly. I think I've got that Dark Arts Apprentice skin. I don't know why I'm not using it. Yeah, I should have made myself another. Oop, I'm standing in your way. I should have made myself another. Uh, another apprentice when I was testing testing the experience levels so we got serenities down below and we're going with what three PDTs huh it's a little overkill but that will definitely get the job done <laughs> And Ponderous, of course, is rocking that, uh, the passive that will be no more. <laughs> that pa the PDTs with massive defense health are, will be a thing of the pa past event eventually. Towering Poison, I think that's what it's called. Is that the one? Let me see. I think I might still have a piece or two of that sitting around. Or no, I deleted everything. That's right. All those bags. I had like three at the bottom of my inventory. Or, nope, I guess I didn't delete everything. At the bottom of my inventory, I had like three or four full bags. And it was all stuff that just needed to go. I mean, I, it was they sat in there forever, and I wanted to save the stuff, but I just wasn't using it, and I finally broke down and just sold it all. Got rid of all that crap. Yeah, going with the blocks up top, huh? I don't usually use blocks on this map. Oh yeah, busted and boost, buffed and boosted. So they're gonna be beast mode for sure. I just like proton beams, and it makes it like the ultimate spawn camp here. If you proton up the stairs, that's what I usually do. Yep, I'll get them ghosts here. EV builder you want uh, defense crit is your main 
well for buff beams and or from uh, for proton beams anyway. Defense crit is your main stat, and uh, all you really require for proton beams is that frosty proton node on your weapon and relic. You can rolls as high as three percent, and then uh, so just go defense power, defense crit on everything. Uh, upgrade your defense crit, and then uh, go with. Yeah, looks like we're missing one somewhere. Then go with um. Oh, there we go. He's got it. Yeah. Anyway, upgrade your defense crit. Get that three percent frosty proton node on your weapon and on your relic, and reap the rewards. Uh -huh. And then defense power uh, scales up the buff beams the best. So like I personally have two different EVs builders now. I used to go, I went with one for the longest time. My defense power defense crit EV2 was just, was the one I used for everything. But uh, now I split them up. I've got one for uh, for buff beams and reflex and then another another for protons. Actually, for Reflex, you can use either of them. Does not matter. Alright, so a little Proton loving, or Poison Dart Tower loving here. Get them all up to two anyway. I'll drop that 90 there in case anybody, somebody's close, you can pop another upgrade into it. Oop. Somebody already went through. You guys are on top of it. Well, then, I would... I mean, protons are huge there, Necro. If you've never used the EV before, you're going to absolutely love proton beams. So I would go just defense power, defense crit on every piece. Get that 3% frosty proton, and then do beams or... Uh, I actually got a video for an all-around EV2 builder. I'd follow the build that I did in that video, and you'll be fine. That's what I did for the longest time. Alright. Poiple. It's Poiple. Nice when you spawn camp these builds too, you don't have to worry about the... You don't have to worry about all the ghosts. Because uh, the mobs die so fast that the ghosts don't have time to make it all the way up top. So it's actually not required to do... In fact, the first two waves, you can get away with not doing them at all. And then, like, wave three, you can get away with only doing the first one. And then the first two, and so on and so on. But yeah, Necro, anyway, check that video on my YouTube channel. Because that, I mean, that's what I did for a long, long time. Yeah, see that one? We were running around to get those switched and we actually didn't even need to. This map, too, like, originally, I mean, for the first several months this map was out, I was doing the turtle build up here, and I actually didn't like farming the map because it took so long to do. But when you do these spawn camp builds like this, it makes them so much quicker. And th this map is actually, it's a fun map to do, and it's not a tough farm at all. You don't get bored with it too quickly. When you do the spawn camp build up top, it's definitely more of a, just feels like more of a grind. some flyers coming doesn't matter they're all gonna get owned all getting owned and then we got plaguing hawk and what else slakelion 
It's like Kalyan is actually the only thing that can cause a problem on this map. <laughs> and it's not that big of an issue. I mean, it's definitely not a big problem. <laughs> If you're Slakelion, if you've got a spawn camp build and the Slakelion respawns and makes it up here too far, it can give you a headache. But it's still just a really easy fix. Those guys are so squishy. They go down super fast. Yeah, we're green this time. Doesn't matter. Because the wave is over. Alright, let's see what we can upgrade here now. We're looking pretty solid there. Throwing up on those two guys, and that's all I got. To, got the green mana for. Uh, my allergies are starting to kick in a little bit. My nose is getting itchy. <laughs> I can feel a big old sneeze approaching, but it just doesn't want to come out. <laughs> We've had so many storms and stuff lately in the area here, in the up in the Pacific Northwest of the U.S. that it's been, it, as far as breathing goes with allergies, it's been kind of nice. Because it smacks a lot of that stuff down, gets it out of the air. But then when we have those clear windy days right afterwards, oh uh, man, it just gets brutal again. Yeah, anyway, Necro, it's in that, um, there's a section, there's a playlist for Hero Spotlights. And it'll be in there, and it says like multi-purpose EV2 builder or something like that. I don't remember exactly what the video is titled, but but that is the build I used for my EV for months, hundreds of maps. Where the last baddie? There he is. See, we'll get that one juiced. Juiced. And then we'll get that one juiced. Faces are getting rolled. There's no doubt about that. where you live there Necro I'm actually from the East Coast I grew up in well I was born in Northern Ireland in Belfast but I grew up in Washington DC but it does it gets chilly chilly over there went to school went to college up in Boston it got chilly there too I mean not like uh, Northern Midwest cold but pretty damn cold still I did a it probably has been probably 10 years ago now, but I did a consulting job in in uh, Missoula, Montana in the winter. Oh my god, I had no idea. I was not ready for that. That's cold. That brings like whole new meaning to the, to the word cold. <laughs> there was days where it was like 20, 30 below zero. That is some chilly shit. Yep, that was a f blast. Well, I was, you know, that was like right after I turned, uh, it was shortly after turning 21, and 
you know, didn't have the wife then, of course, to babysit me. <laughs> so, oh, I had way too much fun, let me tell you. <laughs> and Missoula, of course, being a college town, had lots of gals running around. And I did my best to try to meet every one of them. <laughs> Roasted. Yeah, these spawn camp these spawn camp builds, man. Oh yeah, Ohio gets nice and cold there, Necro. There's no doubt about that. What do we got? We got Plague and Hawk, and what was the other one? I didn't, didn't see it pop up. It's dead anyway. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> An underpowered mage piece there. Or apprentice piece, pardon me. I always want to call the apprentice the mage. Dunno why. Alright. These guys are dropping fast. Can barely make it out the front door before they get their shit handed to them. <laughs> Oop, one more. Oh, he's down in there. Out of reach. There we go. Awesome. They did, they changed, they made some progress in that department, which is kind of nice. It always sucked when a mob was stuck there and you're doing like nothing to them you know your pets hitting them and that's it and you gotta sit there and wait for your pet to kill them I'm glad they uh they changed that up where's Slick Kelly on go he's over here oh we got two Slickies now huh stand still damn you Two reds back to back. It's almost cheating. <laughs> the little mechanic that they threw into the incursions, I definitely like having the little puzzle aspect of it. it definitely makes it fun. Ogre down. Definitely a solid build. You know, it gets the job done. I'm excited to see, you know, eventually we know lightning R's are going to get changed. Something's going to get changed with them. The crit damage on them or I don't know what they're going to do to them. But they, they're they not uh, equal in DU to uh, other towers. Not by any means. So I'm excited when that to see when that happens because I really do like building with Auras. And that's gonna make the monk a lot of fun again. And more useful other than just Serenities and Boost Auras. Alright, let's see what's in the box. So you know what I'm gonna stay on the gun witch. So who's stoked about the Walking Dead here in a, what, just under two days away? 
Of course, I read the comics. Ooh, we got something. Ability power hero crit. No, definitely not the best piece. Actually, it's kind of crappy. It's got the right stats on it for my other uh, DPS gun witch. Alright, so just go head on back to... Nope, oh, Stavion's out, so uh, no more life route. But I do have time to do one more map, though, so I'll let you guys pick. So, uh, what map do you want done? Let's see it in chat. Who wants to...